G'day folks, Steve from Vintage Restorations Australia here. Just a quick thank you video this week. We've reached 3,000 subscribers and I just wanted to say thanks to those people who have subscribed. We appreciate your support. We haven't been doing videos for a couple of weeks. We've got some family stuff going on that, uh, that has dragged us away from the farm and things. So sorry about that, but family always takes preference over uh, free YouTube videos for you folks. We'll be back to making videos in the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, here's a little word from our not sponsor, WD-40. People keep asking us if we're sponsored by this mob. No, we're not. We just use their product. We'd love them to sponsor us, but they don't. So, enjoy the uh, episode. Cheers, folks. They're both empty. We're out of WD-40. You shouldn't panic by enough. Is there any left in the store? <laughs> People are now panic buying WD-40 during this pandemic. Land Rover restorers That's around cool. the world are panic buying Toilet WD. paper and WD-40, gone. Supply <laughs> chain is empty. Panic, folks, panic. Don't get them mixed up. No, don't get them mixed up. No, no. Lubrication is the answer to getting all this stuff off. Proudly sponsored by WD-40. WD-40 everything Probably need a spray of WD-40 to fix that one. Thanks to our sponsor, WD-40. <laughs> Alright, we're back. Alright, first. Talk us through what happened here, John. Well, this is Richard's piston from his 13 horsepower Chinese knockoff. Top of the conrod broke. The wrist pin shattered. It punched a hole through the top of the piston, uh, destroyed lots of bits. Put a great big scrape down the bore, and the bore is an integral part of the casting that's not sleeved. So it's probably expensive to replace, and it's probably a write off. He's getting a new one. Yeah, by the looks of it. I mean, we could get a piston, and a conrod, and a wrist pin, and a casting, and assemble it, and a gasket set. What you're saying is. That won't buff out. No, no, I don't think you can buff it out. I don't even think WD-40 would help. And oh, hey, you take that back. They're Gaffer a sponsor. Oh, no, uh, oh, that's stiff. Give it some more WD-40. We'll let it sit for a minute. After I finish work, I always clean up it with yeah. WD-40. <laughs> <laughs> WD-40, it cures COVID-90. You what? Is it 19? 90. COVID-90, yeah. It's a new one. <laughs> Jesus, it's, it's a, a mutation. It's a mutation. Got a nice new product from WD-40, our uh, non-sponsor. We've got nothing to do with them. But anyway, this one yep. has lanolin. What do you think, Paul? Well, we've done a little bit of a scratch and sniff test on it. Yeah. So we've applied a little bit to the tabletop. Where? Right oh, there. there. Yeah. Oh, that was done previously. Yep. Do it again. So you do a bit of a rub like a that. A rub, yeah. Get it into the pores. Mm-hmm. And then sniff test. Oh. Do you put it in like or a, just near? Oh, you can put it in if, if you really like it. Yeah, stick it in there. But um, We don't I'll recommend tell you anything I'll that tell you what, That is like people. the best of WD-40 scent. With? With lamb chops in there as well, <laughs> with the lanolin. So you evaluate it with you lanolin. Lambs, yeah. Yep, yeah, lamb chops. It's the right time of year for um, a sheep release, isn't it? It is, it is. I think just a... Just a mild application of Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. Can you use that to uh, aid the birthing of lambs? Well, you could actually use it for the birthing of almost anything, really. Just give it a bit of a squirt in the um, give it a good squirt. receptacle. Yeah, don't be shy. Give it a good squirt, mm -hmm. a good volume yeah. of the WD-40 with lanolin. Yeah. And I think, um, yeah, the, the rams are going to come running. That could be a problem. But, you know, keep the rams in the crush. And deodorant-wise, can you, is this oh, you can use as... As totally. a it's, it's rash free, even on the <laughs> hottest of days. On the hottest of days, you could use this straight under the armpits in yep. the cross area. Um, well, it, um, down there, yeah, with um, chafe. Anything no, no, chafe? it cures chafe completely. It cures. It doesn't just prevent it. Cures. Oh, you'll it. never get chafe again ever. Oh, that's that's quite a product. So use it liberally. <laughs> Small or liberal? Yeah, that's right. Only your big old scomo would use that. Why don't we put some water in it, turn it on and see if it explodes. Got a WD-40 right. on that. WD-40 everywhere. Squeaking, mate. Squeaking. 
John mentioned WD-40, and look who turned up. Australia's ambassador. Ambassador. So you can put a bit of WD-40 or something else, lubricant on there, just to help it spin nicely. It's good. A lot of WD-40. <laughs> Paul, how, yes, do you, how do you actually spell WD-40? Um, w is a hard one to spell. <laughs> <laughs> so it's um, D-O-U... <laughs> You're too long-winded, mate. Can we, can we do this with gag again? The the Paul, yes, how, how do you spell WD-40? Phonetically? <laughs> Paul? Yes, mate. <laughs> it's your fake sincerity that's getting me. <laughs> how do you actually spell WD-40, Paul? Hi, Steve. Um... <laughs> Hi, Steve. <laughs> Paul, how do you actually spell WD-40? Forwards or backwards? The usual way. I don't know. Paul, how, yes, do, how yes, do you yes, actually yes. spell WD-40? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. How do you spell WD-40? <laughs> Paul, how do you spell BMW, I think? Oh. Paul? Yes, sir. How do you spell WD-40? Uh, the same as BMW. <laughs> Paul, how do you spell BMW? <laughs> <laughs> the same way as WD-40. <laughs>